Today what we're going to do is show you some step-by-step -step instructions on how to install it onto a Land Cruiser. We're also going to give you a bunch of tips and tricks that's just going to make the job that much easier. So the first item we're going to fit is the winch cradle. Now this slides over the chassis rails and it is a very, very tight fit. So a little bit of persuasion with a soft hammer is going to work wonders. Quick little tip for you, when you're putting the winch cradle on, tap each side of the winch cradle evenly and that'll make sure it goes on square. All the nuts and bolts come with the appropriate washers, but we still recommend a good quality thread locking compound. Once the winch cradle is fitted, you'll notice a space in here. Take the spacer bar and with the edges facing down, install it into that gap. If you've purchased the optional receiver hitch, it fits to the winch mount like this. So once all the nuts and bolts are tightened up, it's time to fit the ball bar. If you were going to fit a winch, now's the time to do that. We're not doing a winch today, so let's get stuck into putting this bull bar on, eh? It's now time to fit the bull bar. So it's a really good idea, get a mate around and he can help you lift it on. So the bull bar's fitted to the cradle with six high tensile nuts and bolts. That's three per side. Once we've fitted the bull bar mounting bolts, we need to align the bull bar to the body panels. To do that, we nip the mounting bolts up, but don't over tighten them. It'll allow us to move the bull bar. You'll know that the bull bar is correctly aligned when the weather strip in here is slightly compressed. The lines of the ball bar will also be very parallel with the body panels. So once we've got that aligned, we're going to, to final tighten the ball bar mounting bolts and then we're going to fit the underbody bash plates. Well there you go. All that's left to do now is get the lights wired up. Now if you're handy with the electronics, go for it. If not, get your local auto electrician to set it up for you. After that it's ready for UHF radio, spotlights, kitted out for the great Australian bush. <laughs>